I'm Dean Travis Clark, host of Sport Fishing TV, and one of the most tedious, painstaking jobs of installing a VHF radio antenna is the connector. Chris Cato from Shakespeare Marine Antennas is here to take away the pain. Chris, show us how to do it. All right, Dean, the first thing we need to do is go through our little checklist to make sure that all of our parts are here for our connector assembly. What we're going to have in the pack is we're going to have the brass washer and Teflon spacer. We'll have the connector body itself. We'll have the coupling ring. We'll have the reducing adapter. And we'll have the cable strain relief. All right, next we're going to put our strain relief on the cable. Then we'll follow that with our reducing adapter next. And then our coupling ring next. And the threads have to be facing the end of the cable, right? That's correct. All right, Dean, what we've done now is we've cut this outside jacketing, making sure that we didn't nick any of the braid here to an inch and a half from the end, and we're just going to take this part of it off. All right, Dean, after that, what we've done is we've cut the braid and the dielectric back one inch from the end, and then we're just going to remove that. All right, dielectric, that's the inside insulation between the braid and the center wire. That's correct. That's this little piece right here. Gotcha. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to take this braid and we want to fan it out just like this, and then we're going to fold it back over our reducing adapter just like that. Now for those people that don't want to solder through these little holes, which is the most difficult part of this connector, we've actually also included Teflon spacers and brass washers that cause a compression fit on this braid so that you don't have to solder it. So what you do is you take your brass washer and you put it on first just like this, and then you put your Teflon spacer on just like this. And so the, the solder would hold the braid in place and that does it instead. That's correct. Since we're proficient in our soldering, we're just going to solder this particular connector. So we're not going to use these brass washers and Teflon spacers. So then what we'll do is just put on the connector body just like this. And we'll make sure that the center wire goes all the way through the end. And then we can screw on the back end just like this. And you want to be careful not to fray the end of that as you're trying to put it through. That's correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder right here on the tip with our soldering iron to hold the center wire in place. And then we're going to put some solder on each one of these holes on the outside to hold those in place. We'll use standard rosin core solder because this works the best for our application. All right, Dean, after we've finished doing our soldering, all we simply need to do is come to the end and cut off that extra little wire just like that. And then we're going to start assembling our connector body. So we'll screw back on our coupling ring just like this. And that goes all the way on and then becomes also the connector that hooks into the uh, input. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just slide our, our strain relief onto the back end and our connector is complete. Sure make it look easy. So Chris, those are two superb ways to install a new connector, one with solder, one with limited solder, but there's an even easier way and you've won an award for it. Tell me about that one. Yeah, Dean, this is pretty neat. This connector is real easy to install. All you need to do is just cut your coax off flush just like that and that's it for the prepping as far as the coax goes. Then you just take your coupling ring and put this on to the coax just like this. Then you'll just push the connector in just like this. Take your standard pair of pliers and crimp on the back. And those have teeth in them that bite into that cable, right? That's correct. And that's how it actually pierces through the jacketing to make contact with the braid. Then you'll just screw on the back end of your connector, just like this, and your connector is complete. Whoa, now that can't be easier. So there are three easy methods to take away all your connector pain. If you want more information, visit shakespeare-marine.com.